Hey guys, so I've spent my second week in Japan and let's see, what happened this week? Well, I had my full week of classes so that was pretty fun. Um, got put into level 2. Still don't know if I'm going to stay in there or not because I have another, um, because I had a test that I had but I have a couple more days before I decide whether or not I'm going to stay in level 2 because as I said in my first video I originally was going to want to be put in level 1 but just for kicks and giggles I put the um well not put the but I tried out the placement test and got put into level 2 so yeah I'll see how well I do but probably going to go back to level 1 but anyways so this week, rode my bike a whole lot. Went to the store a few times. Went down to Al Plaza, which is like this little shopping center thing where the Hyako N stores that I told you about. Um, let's see. My roommate moved out two days ago, so right now we're just waiting for the homestay students to go move out, so then we're going to be changing rooms again and I'm going to be moving in with another one of the um, people in my program but anyways let's see Friday was also the opening ceremony for um, what's it called for my program so there was like 15 or 20 um, business owners and like the deans from local universities who came there and <laughs> There were speeches, and then they had all of us American students formally introduce ourselves, and so that was interesting, because we'd all practiced trying to be polite and everything and using Kago, which is basically the um, formal way to speak Japanese, not how you would speak Japanese when you're... Um, talking with like your friends so I don't think I made a fool of myself I think I was actually able to do something right but let's see uh, yesterday was Saturday and I went to Osaka with a few of my friends and so when we went to Osaka it was my first time actually riding the train in Japan and so it was actually quite easy I wasn't absolutely confused so we took a train over it was like about hour and a half train ride I think yeah so went from Hikone to Osaka and when we got there inside the actual train station well not quite inside but it's kinda like connected to slash inside of it same building was the Pokemon Center so that was our main reason for going over to Osaka is that we really really wanted to go to the Pokemon Center and I did get a few things from there which I shall show you so part of my haul was these absolutely adorable Espeon and Umbreon plushies and then I also got a little Blastoise figurine so that was pretty freaking adorable and I got some stickers some of the first gen and also looks like fifth gen. Let's see. Get all the evolutions because those were really popular recently. Because especially with the new fairy type coming out, all the evolutions were practically the majority of the um, Pokemon Center. Then I got some evolution chopsticks. Got a little Jolteon, Eevee, Flareon, Vaporeon. And my favorite one was this little keychain type thing. It has a, can't quite see because of the packaging, but it has some of the more recent ghost type Pokemons on it. And then after you um, got your seed and stuff from the Pokemon Center, they had this little raffle type thing next to when I won this at the raffle. <laughs> It's absolutely adorable. So yeah, after that we also went to um, Nipponbashi, which is 
also called Dendentown. Town. It's basically a smaller version of Akihabara. And um, it's a whole lot of anime stores, video arcades, and um, electronics. Yeah, that one was pretty cool. I mean, they were like really big <laughs> with like giant posters of anime stuff. And then, um, then afterwards we hopped on the subway back to the main Osaka station because we took a sub all the way, um, well we took the subway all the way to Nipponbashi, then we went back to, um, Osaka Ko, so that way we could go to the Kayukan, which is one of the world's largest aquariums, and it was really, really cool. It, there were like, I think eight floors worth of aquariums that we could go through and they were all like connected to one another so basically the tanks went all the way down the building most of them and so as you went further down you saw different sets of animals and everything and then when I got back from like going through the aquarium they had a little shopping thing and I was able to get a little Toy seal. That little toy seal is really, really freaking adorable, I think. It's just a giant ball of plush. So, yeah. <clears throat> this coming Monday is a national holiday in Japan. I believe it's, uh, like, respect for the aged day or something like that. So, basically, don't have school on Monday. Yay. Need to relax and respect my elders. But, um, but yeah, that's basically what it's going to be like, but what also I heard was that it's probably going to be a typhoon coming in Monday, according to the weather reports. Yay, another tropical storm, because it's going to continue raining. But anyways, that's really all that's going on right now, so I shall talk to you guys later. Just comment or whatever if you want anything. Bye.